If you've clicked on this video, you probably heard of Beyond All Reason, but maybe you were a bit intimidated by how many units there appears to be in the game. This is definitely understandable, because there are over 400 units. But just because of the sheer quantity of units, there's no need to be afraid about starting the game. It's actually quite simple to get the hang of all of them. We can easily break down the types of units into four categories. The first being raiding units, assault units, then artillery units, and lastly, support units. One of the best parts of Beyond All Reason is how easy it is to categorize these units and to maneuver them individually. It comes quite intuitive after some time and control groups are translated to each game that you play. No more frantically trying to add control groups in the middle of your games. As you can see, another bonus feature is the fact that you can draw a line and maneuver them exactly how you want them. This adds to the depth of strategy you can attack your enemies with. Yes, Commander, you get to make the formations. Once you begin to understand and categorize the units into the four different groups in the game, it becomes a lot easier to comprehend what you are supposed to do and how to counter each type. Raiding units are often a lot smaller and more maneuverable than other types of units. This of course however comes at a cost because they are very weak and easy to explode with lots of AoE damage. Use them for raiding your enemy bases and taking out precious economy. Heavy assault units are definitely the core of your army. These act as your front line of defense and your powerful pushes and attacks to break the enemy's defense. They come with epic weapons, massive strength, and often long range fire that can decimate towers and turrets as defenses. Late game you come into control with massive units, giant mechs that can stomp enemies on the battlefield with single blows. Battles like this are no stranger to Beyond All Reason. It is truly an epic war. There are loads of different artillery units that you can use, this just being some of them. Each one has slightly different variations to them, but all of them work similarly. Some have a long range missile attack that takes a few seconds to hit the ground. Others, like the sharpshooter, has an almost instant attack that strikes the enemy with a devastating blow. It can shred through massive amounts of heavy assault units with ease. Also, if you've been enjoying the video, be sure to subscribe. Now we have some of the more arguably important units in the game, the support units. These range from builders to radar units and radar jamming. They fulfill a vital role in keeping your units safe from attacks while also providing vision so that your units can attack more accurately. Never underestimate the power of a well-placed radar unit. Sometimes it seems like there's a lot to learn about beyond all reason, but when you break it down, there's only four basic things you must understand. Every unit has a role, and every role with its unit. When you start to play, especially against the bots, you'll get the hang of it and you'll start to understand what to expect from each faction. You don't need to overthink it, and you'll learn naturally just by playing. 
So commanders, what are you waiting for? We have the link to this free amazing game in the description. Go there now, download it, and begin your journey to epic warfare and grand skirmishes. Be sure to catch me live on my streams Monday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and I will catch you live on the battlefield. See you on the next one.